Hi. Okay, let's take the fear out of updating your machine. Quick video, just watch it happen. There's no reason not to do update 2.0. Once we do this one time with this USB stick, we're done. No more. The machine will do the updates for us automatically going forward. Okay, you ready? There's three basic steps to updating your machine. Step one is on the computer. Step two is getting the file from the USB stick to the machine. And step three is finishing the update. Okay, ready for step one? It's computer work. Here we go. Okay, to do the computer stuff, you're going to need at least a four gig flash drive. There's a list of approved flash drives at babylock.com under Solaris and USB media. That same file is a PDF file also posted on our group site. So you can see which USB sticks they know are recommended and which sticks they know are not recommended. So find yourself a USB stick. Okay, make sure it's at the very least, make sure that it's not on the not recommended list. Okay, at least four gigabyte. It needs to be freshly formatted and nothing else on it. How do you do that? All right, here we go to the computer. Insert the USB stick in your computer. And regardless of how you get there, you need to navigate your way to something called this PC or my computer. Once you're there, you'll see your removable drive. See it? All you have to do is right click single right click, pick format, and I think to be safe, instead of doing the quick format, do a full format. So uncheck quick format and say start. Now this is gonna erase everything on the stick, so make sure there's nothing on there that matters to you and say okay. And now you're just gonna have to wait for it to do its thing. Okay, that full-on format probably took about four minutes. It felt like 40 minutes because I was waiting and I wanted it to go quicker because isn't that how we always work? Anyway, once it's done, it says format complete. So your stick is now ready. So just leave it in your computer. Your next step is to get out of your formatting screen and now we're gonna go on the internet. We're gonna go to babylock.com and we're gonna search Solaris. See it here in the upper right-hand corner? All you're gonna do is go. When you do, BabyLock is gonna take you to the results. And your top result right there is Solaris. So click on that. Once you go there, toward the bottom, you're gonna see something that says manuals, updates, and brochures. You're gonna click on that. And sure enough, there's our 2.0 update. This one from 2018 is the video update. Unless you have an original machine that's about a year old, you do not need to install this update from 2018. It's just the videos. If your machine is newer than that, the only one you care about is this update from 2019. Also here is the USB media uh, chart. See it, the second one down. That is the list of approved USB sticks if you're looking for that information. So once you're here, all you want to do is download the file. See, you just click on download. Everyone should have somewhere on their computer for these types of files to go. So I always save my file and I happen to have a Solaris folder that I download the update into and I just say save. Now, I already took the time to do this, so it's already at my, it's already in my update folder. So, wait for it to download. Once the file downloads, you can see it up here, or you can just go to the folder where it downloaded at. I'm going to go to the folder where that file is located. So, now I'm here. See the BLSA version 2.0 update.zip? We can't use these files yet. They're so big that we have to squish them down or compress them to get them to come across the internet to our computer. So prior to using them, we have to unzip them or what we call extract. Double click on this zipped folder. And at the top, do you see the button that says extract all? You need to do this. Click on extract all and select a destination folder, it's gonna pick to put it right next to the zipped folder. That's what you want it to do, unless you wish to browse and do it somewhere differently. You also want this button checked, show extracted file when complete. So you'll see the extracted or the unzipped version when you get done. You want to do this. So then just come right down here and say extract. 
let it do its thing, which will only take a few seconds. And the next thing that pops up on your screen is a folder of the extracted or unzipped file. See right there? Now, the only thing I want is the bottom one in the list. See where it says taco? You want the taco file. That's the only file you want to put on your USB stick. How are we going to get it there? Really simple. Single right click, send to, and the very last thing in your list is going to be the removable drive that we've already formatted, so it's just sitting there waiting for us. Click on that. You'll see your computer copying it to the stick. It only takes a few seconds. Just wait for it to complete before pulling out the USB drive. Okay, so wait for that to count to 100 before you remove the USB drive. Okay, you waited for that to count to 100 so you know the file is fully on the USB stick and then you removed the USB stick. There are two other files there that might be of interest to you. One is a PDF file that explains all the changes that this update is going to make to your machine and the other are the directions and how to do everything that we've just been talking about. Uh, so step one is done. We have gotten the file from the internet and gotten it down onto a USB stick. Now we have to get the file from this USB stick onto our machine. How do we do that? Pretty easy actually. First thing you want to do is double check and confirm that you don't already have version 2.0 on your machine. How do you do that? No big deal. Turn on the machine, go into the settings area, and check to make sure that you are a version prior to 2.0. So here, I'm going to take you over there and we're going to do that. You ready? Okay, just to double check, we're going to go into the settings area, which is the little piece of paper with the corner folded over. We are going to turn ourselves to page 7, where we're going to see our software version, and we're currently version 1.24. So we know we need to install the new update. How do we do that? We're going to make sure we have our embroidery unit on. Doesn't matter what foot we have on. We're going to turn our power off. You're going to hold the needle threading button while you turn the power on. And you're going to keep holding this button until you see something come up on the screen. Once you see this screen appear, you can let your finger off the needle threading button. You're going to touch the USB symbol. And then you're going to insert the USB stick. Okay? So in the stick goes into the top slot. See it there? Into the top slot. And now you're going to touch the word load. And you're going to wait. Just one other thing to note, if you have a foot control, don't have that plugged in while you're doing this. Unplug that foot control pedal. Just one less thing to have plugged in. And you're just going to wait. It hangs at about 15% for what seems like a long time, and then it goes real quick from 15% to 100%, just to warn you. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I hit 100%. Okay, I hit 100%, so this is what I get. Update complete. Uh, the only thing to do at this point is turn the power off. So off goes the power, and out comes the USB stick. Okay, on goes the power. Wait for it to boot. And you need to have your scan board in your possession at this point. No magnets on it, nice and clean. When the machine powers up, touch the screen. The carriage of the embroidery unit will move, tell it okay. It makes me wait for a moment. It's gonna move my carriage, thank you very much. And then touch IQ designer. It is instantly going to prompt you, please scan the scanning frame only. The machine will read the white balance area and automatically update the program to improve the scanning quality. So insert the whiteboard that it's asking for, which just slides right on, click it down, and you have no choice but to say scan. It does its thing. 
it says it's recognizing, and that's it. You get upgrade finished, and it really means update. That is misleading. It means update, okay? So we're going to say, okay, to double check that you've done it, go back into your settings area. Go to page seven, and sure enough, I've gone from one to four to 2.0. And here's the final step that you must do. Go to the Wi-Fi symbol in the upper left-hand corner. You want to make sure that Wi-Fi is on. You want to put your sewing machine onto your network, your wireless network in your house. You'll do that by setting up the wizard. And then the magic, page 12, the magic, auto download. Turn that on. It makes everyone's life better going forward. Turn that on. And just like that, you're updated. What'd that take? Maybe five minutes? It wasn't hard. It wasn't scary. It wasn't terrible. And the best part is we never have to do it again. From here going forward, the machine will go out on the internet. It will find its own update. Yes, you have to push two buttons to make it install, but that's easy. No more stick. None of this monkey business. No more unzipping. No more compressed files. No more extracting. Yay. Now, do you want to know the one quirk? There's one quirk with this update. Everyone's aware a fix is coming, but there's just one little quirk. Let me show you because there's a workaround. And if you know what it is, it's not that big a deal. Okay, ready? The quirk is with the W plus button. If you don't know what the W plus button is, I did a video. It's posted under the files section of our Solaris group, and you can see what that button does for you. But just a quick uh, tutorial about what it does is when you have a design up and you touch that button it turns on the projector to show you either a crosshair or a dot you have some different options there the problem is it doesn't seem to know how to turn itself off so depending upon what one of the other functions you ask the machine to do the W plus button seems to conflict with it it can't turn itself off the machine doesn't know what to do so it reboots so you need to manually turn off the W plus button if you have turned it on how do you manually turn it off? Not by touching the button on the screen again. You actually have to touch the presser foot button. If you touch this button, that will turn the W plus button off. Now you can go into any function on the screen and everything works. If you go into something like the needle minus plus section and you scroll through the design, you can certainly turn the W plus button on to help see where your needle is going to come down. But before you touch any other buttons or you start sewing again, you're going to want to turn it off by touching the presser foot down button. Once that's off, now everything's fine. So it's just a little quirk. Everyone's working on a fix, and if you know how to work around it, you'll be fine. I would offer that if you're in something like the needle minus plus area, instead of using the W plus button, why not try the camera button? If you touch this button instead, you will get a live action view on your screen of exactly where your needle's gonna come down. It's actually almost easier to see than the W plus button. Okay. So that's it. You're updated and you now know everything I know. I hope that helps and I hope you'll update your machines, please. Thank you. Happy sewing. Bye.